Hey guys, this is Landros, and I've been getting a lot of requests here lately about how I actually put the mods into my game. So, for those of you who are actually asking, and for those of you who may be interested as well, I'm going to go through and show you exactly what I do and exactly what I'm using. I'm going to give you a step-by-step -step on how you should do this so that you can actually do the same thing that I'm doing in my LPs. So, um, all of these links right here, I've got them written down. You can actually take a look at them. Don't worry about it. I'm going to put a link in the description before I upload. So this will all be actually really e easy and nice. You just need to know this is the extract program. I'm going to give you the link here. I've got a resource file you're going to need. I'll give you that link. And then this is actually the website where all of the mods are actually hosted. So there's a lot of people that put some amazing work into this. Um, I'm just kind of piggybacking on what they all did. So let's go ahead and let me go ahead and jump over here into the first thing you're going to need. If you do not have any way to extract zip files, ZIP, if you need some kind of a program, this extract program is called, uh, I think it's free, it's RAR Extract Frog. It's free, it's simple, it's easy, you don't have to do much of anything except just go ahead and click it, you download it, just open it up like normal, it will run in the background and it will do what it needs to do without you even having to deal with it. So this is the one I use. I'm just giving you the website, giving you the information, and again, the price is what sold me. So anyway, if you, if you don't have one or if you're not sure, here's how I, I do it. And you will need some way to extract all these files that you're going to be doing. Okay, at this point, what you're actually going to need to do is you're going to have to go back over, and let me go back to my little site, you're going to need to get this resource file. Now to do that, you've got to go to a website that has it. And the resource file is actually held over at this place called Mod the Sims, which you may have heard of. Uh, let's see which one did I open it up in. All right, so this is actually the page that it'll bring you to. Okay, um, it should look exactly the same as you see it. One thing you want to make sure you do is make sure that you have patched your game to the latest level. And if you're about to install something new, either an expansion pack or a stuff pack, or you're about to um, update your game again, you have to reverse these steps and take the mods out before you put the, uh, the patch or the new content in, um, the new expansion pack or stuff pack. All right, so make sure you have updated, and then you're good. Once you've done that, just come all the way down here. Your game, you tell it is patched. It's going to give you it's either 1.12.70 or higher, which I know we're higher than that. Go ahead and click on this link and it's going to bring you up over to the next major page. Now there's everything is here. They've walked you through it step by step, but a lot of times it kind of seems like stereo instructions and you don't really know what you're supposed to do. So here's what I'm going to show you. Just follow what I'm doing. You just come right down here to where you're going to be downloading the ready-made framework setup. This is the file you need and it's right here in blue. So you just go ahead and click it and I'm actually doing it. I took all my mods out so that I can do it with you guys as well and my uh, downloads with Google Chrome are right down here. I'm going to go ahead and just show them in the folder real quick. And you see I got a whole bunch of junk. Anyway, here's my framework setup right here. And if you go ahead and you double click on it, you're going to open it up and you're going to see this little package called mods. All right, it's already set up for you. You don't really have to do a whole lot. Go ahead and I can double click it and see what's in there. This is all that's in there. You don't need to worry with any of it. Just go back. Eh, hang on, go back up a level. And you want to go ahead and I take that out and I just copy or cut, it doesn't matter. So you can go ahead and copy it over. And you want to go find where your actual files are for your Sims 3 game. Now mine are actually right here under Documents. And if I look at it, I go to Electronic Arts. And I can go to the Sims 3, double click it, and then of course I've got all of my Sims 3 files. Over here somewhere in this white area, I just go ahead and, and I paste and automatically it pops in there for me. I now have a mods folder. Once you click it open, of course you've got all of this information right here. The main thing you're really going to make sure is you have this resource file. If you don't have it there, none of this is going to work. And yeah, you're going to have to leave it there just like that. Now if you look at mine, hang on, let me go down. I got all these things running. I do apologize. Okay, let me pull everything down. Um, I've actually taken my mods out of the game, but I put them over here in this file. And you can see I don't have the overrides folder. It doesn't really matter. But the main thing is the main mods folder is going to have two things, packages and the resource file. Make sure they are both separate, but they're both in the mods folder. Okay, let's go back into the actual folder that I was in, which is right here. 
right here. <laughs> okay, I can't remember. All right, so here we are. We've got this in. We've taken it. We've put it in there. So now what you've done is if you go back into this is your electronics art folder. If you were to navigate over here, find electronics art, electronic arts, find The Sims 3, you'll see that you have your mods folder in. You're set. You're ready. You don't have anything in there yet, but you're ready to start putting mods in. This is when you'll actually start going out and finding the mods that you want. It's pretty simple. Um, all it requires is that you just jump on over to, let me go ahead and close out some of these because I don't need all of them open. i got to be careful because I am uploading <laughs> and I can't close everything down. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and just shut these down real quick and I'm, look, at all my, look at all my stuff. All right, this one's fine. I'm going to go over to the nras.wikispaces.com site. This is what you're going to get when you actually go to the site. Now, all of this stuff, you can read through it. I strongly recommend that you do read some of this information to make sure what you're putting in your game is what you want. But over here on the left-hand side, these are all the different mods that you can get. And you can actually choose which ones you like, which ones that you don't like, uh, which ones you want to put in. And they'll tell you which ones you have to have that will go with the other one. One of the ones that I use, of course, is Master Controller. And if you look at Master Controller, once I pull it up, you'll get the entire information on it. It's going to give you the documentation about everything that this thing will do. So you can click on the Master Controller Interactions and it will show you exactly what this mod is going to allow you to do in your game. And as you can see, there's quite a bit. So, like I said, I strongly recommend read through it. Make sure these are things you want. Um, if it is something you want, then you're going to go ahead and download. What you have to do is you have to look and make sure you're using the most recent version or the version that's going to go along with whatever patch you're on. We're on uh, 1.48 is the most recent patch, so of course I'm going to go with this one right here. He keeps all the older versions on here in case somebody did not want to patch further. Uh, they wanted to keep their game at a certain level. Um, they can always roll back to a previous patch. But here would be the base mod patch. You would have to have this in order to run anything else for Master Controller. Not all the others, but just under Master Controller. I use two. I use Base Mod and I use Cheats. I don't use any of the others. So you go ahead and click on Base Mod. It's very simple. All the way down here at the bottom, it gives you the details of it, or you can go ahead and download the file. And I'm going to go ahead and download the file now. And of course, just like before, I go ahead and I just like to show it in its folder once it comes up. And you can see it's actually right here. It's the NRAS Master Controller version. What I need to do is I need to actually extract this file. So when I open it up, it's already done. That's what that, it all has already done it for me. That um, RAR, frog, whatever, it's already done everything in the background. I didn't even have to think about it. So now that I've got this package file, this is what I want. I can go ahead and I can t uh, click on it. I can go ahead and either cut or copy. And sometimes I just like to copy, so if I make a mistake, I know where it is. Go back to your document folder. Let me go ahead and just pull this up so you can see it. Go into Electronic Arts, go back to The Sims 3, find your mods. You want to go to your Packages folder. You'll see right here that they've already got a few in here. Um, I'm going to show you that you don't really need them. But you go ahead and you just paste your, paste your package in there just like that. You now have Master Controller in your game. It is set. It's ready. You don't have to do a thing. Now the ones that come with it already, this no build sparkles and this no intro package, what this will do is it, as soon as you load the game, you will not get the intro video that you normally get. But if you don't want that in your game, if you say, hey, I like that intro video, and sometimes I like to watch it, sometimes I don't, you can get rid of it. And it's just this easy. Go over here and click on the mod, delete it, it's gone. Okay, the no build sparkles, if you don't want that to be in your game, just go ahead, click on it, delete it and you're good. In my game, I don't actually use those and I'm going to go here and I'm going to show you again, here's all the different mods you can choose from. These are the ones that you might find that you enjoy. I'm going to show you the ones that I actually use in my game and they are, let me jump all the way back down, sorry guys, and I'm going to close some of these windows because I'm just OCD, sorry. In my mods folder, this is the one that I actually run in my game and let me go ahead and pull this up again. The packages that I have, some of these are like hair packages or you know some things that I've got for my game, but all the ones that say NRAS, these are the ones that I got from that site, and they're the major ones that cause the game functionality to change. So the ones I'm using are Error Trap, I use Master Controller, Master Controller Cheats, Overwatch, Register, Story Progression, 
I use Story Progression Expanded and Traveler. I strongly recommend all of them. I've enjoyed all of them. There's a few other ones as well that I've used before and I kind of go back and forth but these are the ones that I find that I go to all the time. So once you actually have them in here you don't have to do a thing. You can go ahead and just start your game up like normal and what I'm going to do is um, actually I can't do it. This program doesn't work that way. Anyway, when you open up your game the first thing you're going to get is a big screen that's going to say mods that are found in your game and it's going to have all of them listed right there. It's okay. It's just going to go ahead and sign you in. It's going to log you in and you just click OK to say yes I know the mods are there and then you start your game like normal. Once you open your game if you have story progression in um, watch my videos. I'm going to actually run another video in just a minute. I'm going to actually connect it to this one if I can and I'll try to show you exactly what I'm talking about. Um, in fact, maybe, maybe I'll do another video, a separate one, on how to set up your story progression. So I'll do that afterwards and so this will just be the end of this video. This one is just showing you how to actually get the mods in your game and now you're ready to go. So when I do the next video I'm going to show you how I set up story progression and how I set up some of the master controller options that just work for me. So and you can do whatever you want, you can adjust it to whatever you like. So for those of you who are looking for how to do it, I hope it was pretty simple and painless. Let me go back over here to these sites. These are the actual websites. If you for some reason the links don't work for you, this is the exact one. I just cut and pasted it straight from the address window. So feel free to actually take a minute, jot them down, pause the screen, do what you got to do, and it'll take you right there to it. It's the simplest thing in the world you can do this with no skills whatsoever it doesn't take much at all and the nice thing about it is the price is wonderful because everything is there free so I hope it's helped you let me know if there's any issues if you've had any trouble uh, if you run into any complications leave a comment and I'll try my best to address it in any way I can I'm no expert but I do know how to actually do this so thank you so much for watching and I hope I've helped you out in some way or shape or form I'll see you guys in the next video where we're actually going to get story progression up, set it up, and get you started in the game. Be back in just a second.